Welcome to the IRC tutorial, Evaluating Resources. Information, good and bad, is out there. Understanding how to evaluate the information is as important as finding it. Consider Internet resources. How do you know or determine what is real, what is fake, or what may be somewhere in between? When conducting research for a project, presentation, or paper, the challenge is finding quality information. For instance, is it objective? What purpose does it serve? Who is the author? It's been said that getting information off the internet is like taking a drink from a fire hydrant. Is this your research method? Or is your research process crap? It should be. What is crap? Beyond being fun to say, crap is an acronym. It stands for currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. Let's take a closer look at the crap test. Currency is the timeliness of the information. When was it published or posted? Has the information been recently revised or updated? Is it current for your purposes? If a website, are the links functional? Relevance is how important the information is to your needs. Does it relate to your topic? Who is the intended audience? How does it rank with other resources you may have located? And are you comfortable citing the results in your project? Authority is the information source. Who is the author, publisher, or even sponsor? What are their credentials? Are they qualified to write or speak about the topic? Is there contact information, or does the site URL reveal anything about the source? Accuracy is reliability, truthfulness, or correctness of the content. Where does the information originate? Is it supported by evidence? Can you verify the information? Is the content language unbiased, and is it free of spelling and grammar errors? Purpose is the reason for the information. Is it being used to teach, sell, entertain, or persuade? Do authors make intentions clear? Is the content fact, opinion, or propaganda? Is the viewpoint objective, or are there biases? This concept is the crap test. Currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. Use it to help critically evaluate information resources. Let's take a look at a few example websites. Try your skills. Visit the Fake News Lib Guide. Take the Fake News Challenge. <laughs>